Hey guys, this is Mark with Isle Tech 128 and this is the brand new MacBook Pro. This is the 15 inch model with the touch bar as you can see. It came finally. Before we get started, as you guys may know, I may have purchased a second one, so leave this video a like and if we get to 50 likes, we may just do a giveaway. So leave this video a like and hit the subscribe button. But here we go. We got the MacBook Pro. It's in space gray instead of silver. Silver is boring. It's been out for a long time. Bottom right here, it says MacBook Pro and an Apple logo. All these are in color matching, so you know which one you got. This is the first 15 inch computer I've ever had. First MacBook Pro. I've been on the MacBook Air for a while. So let's go ahead and open this up. I got the base. Um, 15 inch mainly because I don't do a lot of intensive stuff some video editing, but I don't usually edit videos on the go Okay, so let's go ahead and take the lid off And there we go Space gray looks really nice, but it's out of date already because as you guys know we have Black and jet black. No iPhones are space gray anymore. Unfortunately Wow, that is really thin it looks nice. Let's put that off to the side for now. Check out some of our accessories. You guys unfortunately know this is USB-C. No more MagSafe, unfortunately. I really like MagSafe because it's magnetic. And the thing I liked the most about it was that you knew when your computer was fully charged. If you're going to use anything other than USB-C, you're going to need adapters. And I don't own a single USB-C thing. So um, I'm kind of left with buying adapters, which I already have been doing. We also got designed by Apple in California documentation. Um, we got MacBook Pro. A little bit of information on the computer. Um, warranty information and Apple stickers. And we also get um, an Apple power brick so you can charge your computer. There is no extension cable even though this does come off and support the um, different adapters. So if you have one, like I do, it, you can use it, but they don't give you one. Let's get all that out of the way and take a look at the Jumbo MacBook Pro. You can see there's already fingerprints on here. It's actually really cold. Um, taking a look around it real quick, as you can see, there is no light up Apple logo that is gone because the display is so thin. It's really, really thin. On the side here, we have two USB C ports as well as a headphone jack. They finally kept that. And then we got two more USB C ports on the side. But that's about it. So let's go ahead, open this up, set it up. And if I am told correctly, it should automatically turn on. That's something new with this computer. As you didn't hear, there is no startup chime. But while it's turning on, you can see this ridiculously huge trackpad. It's even bigger than the Magic trackpad on that you can buy that I have on my Mac Pro. It's really big. You probably can't tell, but it's huge, um, comically big. Speaker grills. Even the 13 inch one now has speaker grills, but they're cosmetic, I believe. They don't actually work. Really, really thin keyboard. I absolutely love it. As you can see, we do have our OLED touch bar. We have escape, brightness, keyboard backlight, and volume so far. Let's go ahead and get this set up and we will take a look at it. Okay, so let's go ahead and set this up. We'll go ahead and use our English as our language. Let's go ahead and select our Wi-Fi network. Oh, let's we get to use our beautiful keyboard. <laughs> yeah, that, that that's a that's a nice keyboard. I do like that very much. Now I do definitely notice that my typing is much more faster on this keyboard, and it's just so clicky and satisfying. I absolutely love it. We'll enable Siri. And now we got Touch ID. It says use your fingerprints to unlock your Mac. Start by placing your finger on Touch ID. As so you can see, it's already changed right here. So we'll go ahead and do that. There are no vibrations, so you actually don't know when it's um, time to lift your finger off. And it's done. It's Touch ID 2, so it's the same as the iPhone 7. And we can also go ahead and add Apple Pay if we would like. 
Uh, personally, I've never found a single website yet that does use Apple Pay. Um, we can use our card. Um, I'll set it up later. Hi. And it looks like that is about it. But there you have it. Thank you guys so much for watching this unboxing and setup. We'll have a ton of content coming soon, including this touch bar. I'm really excited to try this. And if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comment section below and hit the subscribe button for more videos on the new MacBook Pro. Thank you for watching. This is Mark with Apps. I'm going to tweet, and I will see you in the next one.